So we're here to talk to you about Sarah. Show the picture. Do you know Sarah? I don't know. This was the moment the murder Sarah. squad arrested Sarah Everard's killer, Wayne Cousins, a police officer, one of their own. Do you know where Sarah is? No. Right. But he did know. These blurred images from a passing car show cousins confronting Sarah in the street six days earlier. The pictures give no hint of the horror to come. The off-duty constable handcuffed and arrested her, it's thought, for breaking Covid lockdown rules. Minutes later, he drove her away, trapped in the back of his hire car, helpless, terrified. Well, I think it's got to be at some stage when she's realised well, wait a minute, where are we going? You know, he's heading towards Dover, so there's got to be something happening between London and Dover where... And her feeling completely powerless. Yes, I mean, being handcuffed, obviously, as we know, is, you know, it, it is restrictive for a reason, right? And so I think it, it doesn't really bear thinking about that she's, you know, she, she's powerless to know what's happened next. Um, and it's, it's really sad to think that she's that, that quite scary situation that she's in at that point. The prosecutor said Sarah, a marketing executive, would never have got into Cousin's car willingly. Her boyfriend described her as savvy and streetwise, not gullible. But she had been out visiting a friend at a time when all social meetings were banned and Cousin's used that to dupe her. The only reason that I can think of, in my experience as a police officer, is that he's had to get her into that car somehow and the main way to get her into that car is to put her under arrest and one of the witnesses that has come forward in that inquiry that they found uh, said that they saw Sarah being handcuffed. What do you think Cousins might have said to her to convince her that she was being rightfully arrested? Well I don't know I mean he could have made up a law he could have said anything he wanted to to get her into the car I mean, he could have used COVID as a, as a reason to get her into the back of the car and said, you're breaching COVID rules and arrested her. You know, Sarah wouldn't necessarily have known every single law and he could have made one up to get her in the back of the car. At the time, Cousins was a Metropolitan Police Constable. He protected VIP buildings and carried a firearm. He has never explained why he kidnapped, raped and strangled Sarah. In court, her family read out moving statements... Her mother Susan said, In the morning I wake up to the awful reality that Sarah is gone. In the evenings, at the time she was abducted, I let out a silent scream. Don't get in the car, Sarah. Don't believe him. Run. Her father Jeremy said, All my family want is Sarah back with us. No punishment that you receive will ever compare to the pain and torture that you have inflicted on us. Sarah's body was found in remote woodland near Ashford, Kent, a week after she vanished. Cousins had burnt her remains. Police don't know exactly where and when Cousins murdered Sarah, but they do know that for a while he stored her body here, hidden amongst this rubbish under a freezer. Then Cousins came back and using some kind of trolley, brought Sarah's body 250 yards or so into the woods and left her in this shallow water. Simon Harding explained how police reacted when they knew Sarah's killer was one of their own. When they found out that it was a police officer, um, it was something that would stay with me, certainly, before I left the Met, that would stay with me for the rest of my life. Police officers do not view Wayne Cousins as a police officer. They view him as a murderer who happened to be a police officer, rather than the other way around, a police officer who is a murderer. And that's a really important thing, you know. He doesn't hold the same values as a police officer. He doesn't have the same personality that we do. You know, he's a very sick, a very dangerous individual who should never have been near a uniform. Cousins will be sentenced in the morning. The prosecutor urged the judge to jail him for the rest of his life. Martin Brunt, Sky News, at the Old Bailey.